Hey guys, welcome to the American Dream Mall. Today is our first day here and we are going to Nickelodeon University. Today is our first day here and we are so excited. This mall is huge. Like, if you've never been, you should definitely stop by one day. They have an amusement park. They're opening a water park and a big candy store. And they also have an ice skating rink. And they're going to have like a snow um, resort. It is going to be so amazing. We're going to come back because we have so many things to do, but just follow us as we tour the amusement park today. So our first stop is going to be Blue's Clues. Leah is just running around because she is so excited, and we're also looking for our other family members who um, came earlier than us. So, you know, just tune in and watch us have some fun today. So our first ride was the Blue's Clues ride, and this this ride was just perfect for Leah's age group. She's currently riding it with her cousins and her aunt, and she is having a blast. They even had to go back for a round two, but Leah is currently three, and she'll be four in a few weeks. We um, attended this amusement park in November, and she'll be four on December 20th. And this ride was just perfect. They had so much fun. And it might look like they're going fast, but they're going at a great pace for the kids that's on this oh, ride. Yeah, this Hurry up! And the next ride is Shimmer and Shine. Leah was so excited because this is one of her favorite shows. She was so excited that she was able to take a picture next to the, um, the Shimmer and Shine mannequin. So she definitely had a blast on this ride as well. <laughs> next up is SpongeBob Jellyfish Jam. This ride was not um, Leah's age group, so she was not able to get on this ride. However, we had to allow the older kids that were a part of our group to get on all the rides as well. So we just watched as, you know, the older kids had fun. So now we're on to the next ride. notice that they have roller coasters in the middle of the ride for the older kids and you can just hear the kids screaming you probably can't hear them right now but the kids were just screaming and just having a ball like if you have to take your kids anywhere I would definitely recommend this amusement park <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken they have three roller coasters going at the same time i could be wrong but 
I believe it was three roller coaster rides going on at the same time. And now I'm taking footage of the Dora Sky Railway ride that's going around and it's coming back to where they um, started. <music> Everybody was so excited to get on this ride. Now they're coming back to where they started and we're on to the next ride. And the next ride is the Bikini Bottom ride. Leah was joined by her god sister and her cousin. So she had so much fun. Her god sister had this came and this was the first ride we had to get most of the rides that I'm showing you in the beginning is really from the US age group. However, they have more rides that's targeted towards older kids. So I'm going to show the older kids at the end of this video. Targeted towards the older crowd, and they had a ball back here. So Leah came with her cousins that were 10 and older, and she also had some ones that was four and under. However, the um, age group for four and under that Leah came with was not able to get on this ride. But the kids who met the um, the height requirement was able to get on. Even if they met the um, height requirement, some of them were kind of scared to get on because it was just like too much to handle for their age group but it looks like so much fun I, I actually got the band to get on these rides but being that I had to record for Leah and her cousin um, I didn't get the opportunity to but this ride was just so crazy Leah and Leah cousin and her god sister got on this ride and they had me cracking up the beginning, the end, the middle. 
and this is Patrick. They also have different characters walking around for you to take pictures. The long, the lines wasn't very long, but it just depended. It just depends on the time that you know you decide to join the line. Sometimes it was long for Chase, and then sometimes you had the opportunity to take a picture. So it just depends on the time you decide to go and take a picture. And this is Leah on another ride. They decided to take. Um, not take a chance, but they decided to take another ride on the monster truck. Leah and her cousins were having so much fun that they decided that they wanted to go to the play area. The play area is directly in the beginning of the amusement park. As soon as you come down the escalator, you um, you run right into the play area. So this is basically just a little downtime if you decide that you don't want to stand in the lines no more and you know the kids just want to run around and just have a little fun then this is just like the perfect spot to them because you know some kids get a little agitated by standing in the long line so they can get on the ride and sometimes they just want to run wild and just have fun and just be a kid. This is the perfect play area for them. So I'm just turning the camera around just so you know you can get a good glimpse of the amusement park. And this is one of the rides that was not up and running, but as you can see, the ride is huge. But until next time, guys, this is the end of the vlog. And if you ever have a chance to stop by the American Dream Mall, and go to Nickelodeon Universe, I highly recommend it. And as you can see, we walked in in the daytime and we're leaving at closing. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Welcome to Leah's Clubhouse.